Welcome to the Subpod community. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your Subpod Mini with the grow bed. Here's what you'll need to get started. An assembled Subpod Mini, an assembled grow bed, a watering can, soil, roughly this amount. Getting high quality soil will help you at the start of your Subpod journey. If you're picking up soil from a landscape supplier, be sure to get a soil test so you can check up on the level of organic matter and nutrients. It's optional, but it's easier to get some material to elevate your subpod mini. You can use pavers, but I'm gonna use two pieces of wood. It's also optional to use a level to make your subpod mini and garden bed nice and straight. And if you're planting out today, feel free to get some plants and some mulch to protect them. Location. It's time to pick a spot for your subpod grow garden bed. If you're in a hot climate, we suggest planting your garden bed in a partially shaded area. This will keep your worms happy and your plants thriving. Place your subpod mini inside your garden bed. And take reference for how high you need to bring it up. To give your mini a little bit more height, place the pavers or pieces of wood at the bottom of your garden bed. Now place your subpod mini inside your grow bed and leave about an inch of room in between the grow bed and the subpod mini to give a little bit of wiggle room for the worms. If you don't have enough height, place some soil underneath and compact it with a little bit of water. And to make sure everything's nice and straight, level out your subpod mini and your grow bed. As you're adding soil, water it down. This will help remove any air pockets and help settle it into place. It's important that these holes are covered up with soil. Otherwise, it's an invitation for insects to come in and lay eggs. Feel free to plant out your grow bed and use some mulch to protect the soil. Great job, now it's time to add the worms. Watch our next video to find out how.